Hey gang, and welcome back to another episode of Conquering Your Commander. This week we're going to take a look at one of the most powerful liches in all of Grixis. He's mastered the give and take between life and death. This is Nekasar the Mind Razor. For two colorless, one blue, one black, and one red, we get a 2-4 zombie wizard. Okay, so I lied about him being a lich, but I mean, if you take a wizard and you take a zombie and you kind of mush them together, I mean, you pretty much get a lich. This zombie, wizard, man, thing, lich, whatever, has two triggered abilities that really force you into a certain archetype. His first ability reads, at the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws an additional card. This doesn't really seem like a Grixis kind of ability, but just wait till we look at the second one. Nekasar's second ability reads, whenever an opponent draws a card, Nekasar the Mind Razor deals one damage to that player. So that means without any kind of additional help, every turn our opponents are taking two and drawing an extra card. Ideally, we never really want to give our opponents too many resources, so drawing a card at the cost of only one life really isn't that big of a detriment. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've probably had some experience with Nekasar, so you know where this is going to lead. Essentially, we want to run a critical mass of cards that'll force our opponents to draw multiple times a turn. Whether this is through sorceries, instants, enchantments, creatures, whatever, we want our opponents drawing often, and usually when they can't use the cards that they draw. One of the strongest types of effects in Nekasar are wheel type spells. Discarding hands and drawing new cards can cause opponents to take a ton of damage and really disrupt their game plan. Some of the more obvious wheel cards are the flagship named card Wheel of Fortune, Time Reversal, Reforge the Soul, and Windfall. These spells can often deal upwards of 7 damage for as little as 3 mana. Furthermore, the likelihood of drawing into another wheel spell is incredibly high since we're running a critical mass of these types of spells. It's not uncommon for many Nekasar players to wheel once, and then again, and then a third time in a turn. So Nekasar is a great way to deal a bunch of damage to all our opponents with these wheel type effects, but chances are there will be times where we can't cast him. You're also going to want to run cards like Fate Unraveler, Underworld Dreams, Psychosis Crawler, and Spiteful Visions. In a pinch, these cards can replace Nekasar, helping us deal damage when players draw cards, but their true power lies by providing extra damage when Nekasar is out. Speaking of enchantments that'll punish opponents for having lots of cards, you can also run Fevered Visions. I particularly like this card because unlike Howling Minds, we actually get the benefit as soon as we cast the spell at the end of our turn. My issue with Howling Minds is that unless we have a way to cast it at instant speed, chances are our opponents are going to draw cards before we do. This might be somewhat okay since it'll be causing them damage, but they'll still be gaining valuable resources. We're also going to run some spells that'll allow us to punish our opponents when they have to discard down to 7. Magrim and Liliana's Caress are great cards to punish players discarding cards. Blood Chief Ascension can also do a great job of punishing opponents and gaining us incremental life when they have to discard. I have to say though that my favorite enchantment that pertains to discarding cards is Waste Knot. By casting this 2-drop enchantment before using a wheel spell, we can generate some serious advantages whether it's ramp, card draw, or bodies. I speak from personal experience when I say that if this card has resolved and there's a wheel spell coming, you need to destroy it. They will generate so much advantage, you will drown in it. Looking at some creatures, Jace's Archivist can provide us with a once per turn wheel effect for only one blue mana. Newly printed Magus the Wheel can offer a similar effect, albeit at a steeper price, costing the creature's body and one more mana to use the effect. He does guarantee that we'll always draw seven, something that Jace's Archivist doesn't always necessarily do. Regardless between the difference of the two, you'll want to run both anyway since we'll be running as many wheel effects as we can. So we've covered the basics, a lot of the cards that you're going to want to run, the wheel spells, the creatures that punish, the enchantments that punish, and so on. But let's look at some of the more fun cards for Nekasar. Some of the cards that you'll want to run just to sort of smile and see how your opponents squirm when they resolve. I'm sure everyone loves to cast Cyclonic Rift, but hates to be on the receiving end. Well, what if I could tell you that you didn't have to run it, but you get a very similar effect, but only for creatures? For only one blue mana, Sigil of Sleep is an incredible card that can be put onto Nekasar. Every time they draw a card with Nekasar out, or in this case, two cards, they're going to have to return two of their creatures to their hands. This is punishing. Similarly, and I'm sure you guys are going to jump on me for mispronouncing this, you can run Phyresis? 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 I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. For one colorless and one black, we can give Nekasar Infect. Originally when I first read this card, I thought it had to be through combat damage, but no, the card doesn't care how the creature does the damage, just that it does damage. This means that Nekasar's triggers are going to be dealing Infect damage. There's also a great new fun card from Eldritch Moon, Gyre Reach Sanitarium. For only two mana, we can force our opponents to draw a card, which means they're all going to take at least one damage if Nekasar is out, and then it forces them to discard a card, which if we have Megrim out or Liliana's Caress can cause them to take even more damage. I'm a really big fan of this land, and I think it's fantastic. 
One of the biggest problems that I had when I played my Nekasar deck is that we had to wheel our hands, which meant we discarded a lot of cards that we might want to use later on. This is easily remedied by playing Library of Leng. Acting as an additional copy of Reliquary Tower, Library of Leng offers us the additional benefit of being able to put cards that are discarded from our hand on top of our library in any order we want. This can allow some interesting setups where if we have wheels in our hand and we cast a wheel spell, we can just put those on top and draw into them. Phyrexian Tyranny is one of the kind of cards that I want to run just because it has so much flavor and it fits in so well with the deck, despite the fact that really, when it comes to a card, we don't want to give our opponents too many choices. In this card's defense though, the later the game goes, the harder it becomes for an opponent to justify taking two life instead of paying two mana. Your mileage may vary, but it's definitely a card worth considering. Well gang, that's my take on Nekasar the Mind Razor. There are about a million cards that go well in this deck, so please don't take offense if I haven't included your favorite. I had a Nekasar deck for a long time, he was a lot of fun, but I have to warn people, he is very narrow and he will quickly be hated out. Sure, the first few games your opponents are going to convince themselves that maybe they can benefit from drawing all the extra cards, but eventually they're going to figure out that they have to kill you first. As always gang, thank you very much for watching my videos, for putting up with my silliness, for watching my gameplays, and basically just being really all around awesome. And please, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more.